Perceptia consists of a Perceptia API, which is a RESTful API using a Go front-end to manage communication from a client to the back-end service, which is built around PHP and Python modules um, using things like the Natural Language Toolkit in Python to process text and Solar to process text and additional materials such as PDFs, audio, video to generate content that can be analyzed and then presented to the user and have quizzes generated to test the user, all using these services. Additionally, we have the Perceptia client, which is a demo application to demonstrate how the API can be used to provide quiz, quiz and studying services to a user. This is a React-based browser app running in an Nginx container, and all of this are running using Docker containers which are orchestrated using the Azure Kubernetes service, which is a managed Kubernetes cluster, which manages the provisioning of cloud resources such as virtual machines, networking interfaces, etc. All that has to be configured is the actual cluster itself and then the deployment of the containers to the service. The service manages connecting, for example, the API and front-end client to uh, public IP addresses that are then associated with our domain name, perceptia.info. Additionally, how this all works, we have the main API gateway, which is written in Go. This is used as the main entry point. It uh, handles authentication and session management, and then requests that involve the quiz service are passed on to the AnyQuiz collection, which is our AQ REST container, which does the initial processing of the request. It will go out and find the resources requested, or if we've passed in information that it itself cannot process, it will send it on to Solar to do additional processing. The AAS endpoint also manages the status of this processing, providing exposing an endpoint for the client to determine the status of their own request. These services, the gateway is backed on a Redis session store and a um, Microsoft SQL server. These are all container-based running within our cluster. And then additionally, the AnyQuiz collection uses a MySQL database to store quiz content. Then we have, as I already said, our web server with an Nginx container hosting. Our Kubernetes service is, as I said, managed by Azure. We have both the visual dashboard, uh, management controls within the Azure portal, and Azure command line tools to all manage the deployment and processing of our service. And additionally, our deployments will be uh, configured using the release pipelines of Azure DevOps. And this is an overview of the tools used by the Perceptia service. To support the development team, as a UX and a UI designer, there are several ways to support them to design the UI based on the UX research. You can see there are three versions for the design, and the, the current version is uh, card sorting. And when user collect the, the single card, there is a create pop up, and you allow user can review the question and practice the question. And finally, I created an animation cartoon to promote our landing page, and tell user what the Percipia edit is, and how it can help user to improve their knowledge field. After the integration, we have two expert interviews to help us improve our product. 
and you can see the professor give some comments and review our product and based on that we can continue work on the future and the components design. At the end of last quarter, we demoed some of the implemented back-end components using the AnyQuiz front-end. Work on a new front-end and the realization of plans to migrate the back-end to a new host allowing continued feature development began this quarter. While some of the functionality was already exposed through REST endpoints, Additional work was done to expose all the functionality through a consistent and formally documented API. The code for the API was reduced to just the REST API functionality and endpoints, and Docker images were created for MySQL and the PHP and Python LAMP stack. Content analysis to extract content from arbitrary sources, including PDFs, URLs, and various types of multimedia was added using Apache Solar. This allows the use of peer-reviewed materials like textbooks and journal articles. Study mode was added as a response to user research showing users felt overwhelmed when exposed to the entire source content at once. Now they just view a source paragraph at a time, before being asked to recall material. Non-blocking PHP sessions were added to allow the UI to make asynchronous requests. This allows the user to continue performing actions on the site, even though a previous request to add a new resource is still being processed. A status endpoint was added to provide the user with notifications of progress in their quiz generation pipeline. As corporate trainers are one of our stated stakeholder groups, an expert we interviewed pointed out how essential it is for them to edit questions as the company they represent could be sued for incorrect information. They also stated this feature made the project a million times more attractive to another of our stakeholders, instructional designers. Right now we'll be going through a new Perceptio front end. So this is the main page of the application, which consists of all the previous quizzes a user has been generated for themselves. We have anything ranged from apples and oranges to machine learnings and even calculus. So to expedite the process of searching, we've added the search bar, which allows you to finalize the quiz that you wanted to study. For example, just like that. Now also to the search bar, we're able to, um, I guess, adding new quizzes for you and generating new quizzes for you to study. So for example, we'd like to know something more about pyramids and just like that we've starting the process of generating a quiz for pyramid now mind you the process of generating a quiz typically takes between 30 seconds to a minute and that could vary much based on the text we were able to extract from wikipedia and for longer text the time will be significantly longer versus a shorter one Now to um, alert user of the current status of their question generation, we added this uh, particular snack bar to inform them which step exactly they're on um, of the process. And as you can see here, the question generation part usually takes the longest. And there we have it. A quiz revolves around the pyramid. And for each particular quiz, we have two different options, that is either study or quiz or knowledge. So I'd like to quiz myself on the pyramid. This will give me access to the list of questions that, would be, that was generated based on a Wikipedia article online. And going through these, let's just quickly
quickly power through them. And there we have the results. And looks like I got about 50% right, which is sounds about right. Now, um, for any particular quiz, um, we also give the user the ability to customize the questions as well as um, customize their experience. So, for example, during the study phase, we give the user the ability to edit the questions and actually deleting the question as a whole, even if they deem necessary. So, for example, this gives a complete control over what the question will look like and what the answer option would be. And this part gives us the uh, ability to delete the question to, uh, as a whole. And yep, yeah, I believe that concludes our um, demonstration for the Perceptive Frontend.